The witness is all the rage here at the IGN offices, and playing it has gotten me thinking about its spiritual predecessor, the enormously successful, but often maligned, Mist. Like the witness, Mist is set on a mysterious island devoid of humans and populated by a series of environmental puzzles. It was first released in 1993 when CD-ROM drives were just beginning to make their way into home computers. The brand new CD standard allowed for video clips, recorded sound samples, and vast libraries of graphics. But it took a while for game developers to figure out just what they should do with all that space. Along with the seventh guest, Mist was one of the first high production value entries in the CD games market, and that uniqueness helped propel it to extraordinary heights in popularity. In 1993, Nobody had ever seen graphics like this on a home computer screen. Home PCs were still a few years away from smoothly handling true 3D. It used a clever take on HyperCard, a pre-HTML form of interlinked pages, to create a series of interactive still pictures interspersed with a few small video clips. Compounded with some very clever sound design, the whole thing was remarkably immersive for a pre-Doom audience. The version you're watching here is Real Mist, a full 3D remake created several years after the original. There was more to Mist than just tech. There was also a clever mystery and an exploratory structure that encouraged experimentation. It was very hard to fail in Mist. You could get stuck on a puzzle, but you weren't likely to hit a game over. The official sales figures for Mist were something like 67 bajillion copies. It was a perfect showpiece for the infant multimedia home PC, an interactive experience that anybody could understand. While many people played Mist, I doubt nearly as many finished it, and those that did likely used a guide at some point because Mist lacks the purposeful pedagogy of the witness. Mist puzzles feel arbitrary and disconnected. There's some logic to them, but little consistency. The witness, on the other hand, goes out of its way mechanically and thematically to teach you new skills that compound almost like power-ups in Metroidvania, allowing you to unlock new areas. Mist went on to spawn four sequels, an online MMO, and countless ports. It's one of the very few games that just about everybody of a certain age seems to have played, at least for a minute. But when I asked around the IGN offices, I was hard-pressed to find anybody who actually admits to liking it today. Mist was full of good ideas, but it hasn't aged well. And the further we get from its technical and design innovations, the harder it is to forgive its arbitrary difficulty. It's just too frustrating, too primitive, and too easy to get stuck in. But it's an important game, not the least of which because it's an inspiration for one of the best new games of our generation. For more on Mist, The Witness, and everything games, stay with your friends here at IGN. 